Hello, hi, it's Liz here. Do you have lots of this? Do you have lots of packaging to use up? I have this huge bundle and I thought I would make a little journal just using brown paper packaging. Well, and some white paper packaging. So let's just dump that on the floor just now and I will show you what my plan is. I have this piece here, which is from one of these sturdy Amazon envelopes. Sometimes they come in this and so, whoops, sorry about that. The package is too big for under the camera. Um, and sometimes they come in these sturdy envelopes. So these sturdy envelopes are really good. Um, they make quite good journal covers, I think. Um, I just cut it to the size that I wanted it. Let's put that on the floor. And um, that's my cover done. We'll just glue that together. Job done. So let's do that. I'm just going to use a print stick because I might stitch round actually. We'll see. I just might do that. So we'll just put a little glue on it because I'm just going to give it a quick stitch round. If you don't have um, a machine, then put some more glue than I've used there. So that's our cover done. I'm not going to concern myself with, you could have a pocket there, but this is just going to be a quick and easy journal. So then I took that bundle that I showed you and cut down, just tearing with my ruler, some pages. Um, I want it to be truly shabby, junky. This one's quite crumpled. This one's had a little bit of a paint job on it. Um, this one's properly crumpled and torn. Um, just all different sizes. Makes it nice and easy and a bit of interest, I think, when they're different like that. So that's going to be my signature, my pages. And that's just going to sim simply slot in there. I'm not concerned that they're over the edge. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, yeah, so what next? Let me show you what I've got planned for the cover. For the cover, I have another piece of the white packaging that I thought might be quite nice. Um, and I have a piece of corrugated card. This also is from packaging. You can just tear a piece off and I'll show you what I do to get these little covered bits off. I just run my pokey tool down like that and pull it up and that just simply takes off the cover and you get nice um, texture underneath and then I just used some white acrylic paint and just spread some roughly on the corrugated card yeah so that's going to be my cover um, I think because I've stitched around this bit, I will stitch, definitely stitch around the edge. Um, yeah, stitch around that edge. I think we'll go and do that next. That's it, all stitched round. Makes a difference. Um, if you don't have a machine, you can just use a fine liner and do little uh, dots and dashes. Yep, so... Yeah, it's looking quite cool there. So let's see what else we're going to put on our cover. I'm going to put a heading on because this is going to be used to record. We've decided we're going to do the mural trail. Uh, Glasgow City Centre has lots of um, murals on um, buildings, gable ends of tenement buildings and various places, um, quite famous landmarks, there's usually a mural nearby. So there's a whole trail that you can find online 
and um, I think we're going to start that in the next few weeks, next couple of weeks when the weather picks up a little bit and we'll take the dog and we'll go for a, a trail round and take some photographs and I think this journal would be perfect for a little photograph and then a little bit about the, the mural because um, it just seems to suit a kind of junky journal type uh, place to record our adventures with the murals. Um, yeah, so but, I, but so I want to put a um, mural um, mural trail somewhere on this, but I also want to decorate that a little bit. So I picked out this stamp set. It just caught my eye. I was looking for all my bunnies and my hair stamps and I found this one and I thought, oh, keep that one handy. And I thought I would do the daisy and the butterfly. So I have already stamped. And again, I just stamped it on the brown paper packaging. And I just thought that was quite nice. And I'm going to stamp a second butterfly I think for coming out that little bit there for that bit and then I might just put mural trail stamped down here so let's stamp and then we'll get the cover done and then we can sew in our signature I'm just going to put two holes two, two holes and um, yeah that should do the trick. It's not many pages. Right, you maybe didn't see this. This is Daisy Friends by Stampin' Unicorn. Yep. Stampin' Unicorn blogspot. I've had it a long time. I'm not sure if it will still be available. I've added a little bit of white to the images just because of the white background there and all I'm doing is just adding some lines following the black lines that are already on the, the butterfly. It just lightens it a little bit without making it um, too coloured because I want it all to be quite a uh, brown paper still yeah I want to be able to see that it's still brown paper that it's a a true brown paper packaging journal <laughs> so let's do a quick fussy cut not right to the edge leave a tiny little bit And we will dispense all these antennas. If ever you wanted the antennas, you could just draw them back in or you could stamp where you want the butterfly to be and then just place this over it. If you felt you really needed, really needed them. Oh, and that one I kept it in. I just, I just cut, cut all round. Oh well, doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> I'm breaking my own rule. So I think having the two butterflies because that makes it a little group of three. It's always good to have an uneven number. Um, and we'll put the heading down here. Yep, I think what we'll do is we'll um, get the signatures in first and then we'll do, we'll attach that. So I think we'll do this next. Now, I have this ball of string and I decided that it was too thick. It would need too big a hole and so I've split it down. It's um, six ply so I've got two lots of three here I think I've got three ply no that's a four is this a three this is a three I think I might use the three 
or maybe not because there's another bit there and I don't want that to be loose. Maybe use this bit. It all seems intact. Let's use this piece here. Okay, so I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to go for it because I just want it to be a proper junky journal. So this is the middle and I'm just going to go about there. And if I've had my porridge this morning, I can go right through. There we are. One there. And then one about there. Yeah, be careful of your fingers. I've lost that. There it is. There. There. Now, I don't think I'll have a needle to go. I wonder what I could use to put. I wonder if it would just push through. Because I would not have a needle big enough. Hmm. Now, have I thought this through? How am I going to get that through that hole? I don't think very easily. Let me think, what could we use to pull this through? A paper clip, maybe? With a little hook on the end? Would a, would a paper clip with a little hook on the end pull it through? I'm going to go off camera for a second and have a think about this. Well, that wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, but they're through. Um, I actually just resorted to pushing them through each page with my pokey tool. Um, it's taken the little ends of the string apart, but it doesn't matter. I'm happy with that. Um, sorry you didn't see it, but it, you would have you would have fallen off your chair laughing at my antics of trying to get that string through. I shall keep that in mind the next time that um, don't use something that um, <laughs> won't go through a needle. <laughs> but I just thought that string matched the brown paper packaging idea. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to tie a wee bow here. And hopefully it's tight enough. I never even checked it. It was tight in the middle. I just thought the string looked quite good with the brown paper. Yeah, it seems okay. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> and the, yeah, of course, you could always put that on the inside, but I just thought that might be quite nice on the outside. Right, okay, let's get this on. I'm going to use, oh, I know I'm just going to use my glue stick. stronger glue but we'll see how this goes. I always find the, the glue stick works quite well anyway. Right so I wanted this one just under there a little bit. Daisy and the other butterfly. Perfect. Mm. 
Now, do I want that daisy heading towards, that was what I was needing my head, heading towards the flower, or do I want it going away? I think I want it like that. My original thought. I think maybe I'll need to use the stronger glue on the card. Right, so that just needs mural trail here. I've also got these little ruffles for some of the pages. It's just simply some of the packaging with some stitching. And I think I'll add them. To some of the planar pages. Yep. I love this lots of little bits of thread loose. I like that. What else have we got? Here, I think. Oh, doesn't make that doesn't doesn't it make a great noise? <laughs> there we are. And I have a plainish one here. And one more. Hmm. Oh, it's a big decision. if I need a closure and if I do do you think just some string round mm -hmm. I wonder about an eyelet or some wrapped string. Let's have a think about that. And let's do... <laughs> let's do our stamping mural trail. Now, what will I stamp it on? Will I stamp it on some of this individually? and then stick it on or some of the white oh that's quite good we'll do each letter and then or do mural trail let's think let me get my stamps Is going to be too big. No, I think they'll be okay. Right. So let's just keep it all lowercase. So 
if I don't want it to be straight. It's neural N U R A L. That's right, aren't it? <laughs> Maybe I should have Googled that. Spelling is not my strong point. Yeah, no, that's right. I can tell it's right. Mural trail. Yeah, there'll be room. There'll be room for trail in there. And we'll just chop a little bit off the bottom. see stamps a lot and well worth the money <sighs> I... oops <laughs> that's well down <laughs> well there trail neural trail if we can carefully get this this is quite soft paper and I want to just get a little bit off that there there we are not bad at all Let's get those threads out of the way. pleased with that and what I'll maybe do is print off the trail and then maybe stick it or make a pocket there for the the trail to go in so that we can tick off when we've seen each one and then we'll just get a little photograph of each one and um, the date when we saw it and whereabouts it is and, uh, and I think that's a good project for the for the coming better weather <laughs> so thanks for joining me today and um, if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye for now